What's poppin' AD? It's ASAP Ferg, and I'm showing y'all my home. Welcome. What up, y'all, man? This is my new crib. I've been here for about almost a year, a few months, and um, it's different from being like an inner city kid. Like all of the noise is like real quiet. I'm in Jersey right now. When I'm traveling the world and I'm meeting all of these different people, and I'm shaking a lot of hands, it's a lot of noise. I'm on stage all the time. It's like always cool to come back to a house that's like real chill, tranquil. And this is my safe haven right here. So this is the entry of the house. My brother Jay West did this painting right here. He gifted it to me on my birthday. Cause gave me this companion right here. Jeff Staples gave me the pigeon going on a wall with the spears in his wings. And this is another piece from Daniel Arsham, which is, woo! And then I got these masks from Liberia, also the machete, you know? So you see this like the moment you walk in the house, that's the upstairs area. You can see a bit of the living room and all the rooms from right here. This is kind of like a sweet spot. So this is the dining room right here. It's like a customized table. I found this really amazing artist on Instagram. She was doing like a lot of small little stools and chairs. And I was like, man, I need a whole table. I got like these dinosaur plates and bowls. It's like real like playful Flintstone vibes. I haven't been eating at, at this table a lot lately. I, I ate here for Thanksgiving with the family for the first time. That was cool to see that we could actually use it. It doesn't look cool and like nobody is using it because it looked like art and nobody wants to mess the art up. This painting right here is called Punk as an Angel. And I did this painting in 03, probably about two months after my father passed away. That's why I got the heart and the eyes like looking up to my dad in heaven. And he was an artist as well. I just took that painting and made it into a huge rug. This rug right here was made by hand in Nepal. And it took over nine months to make. It has silk in it, it has wool in it, and it has gold wire in it. And you can see even they did my script, my name, my signature, and the date. It's a beautiful rug, it's gonna last forever. Hold on, this is my babushkas right here. I got all of my babushkas. I got these from Africa, Liberia. I also got like a vintage radio that I got in London. Tiffany's case with all my Tiffany boxes. Every day is Christmas in Ferg House. I use the fireplace a lot. It gets hot quick though, I ain't gonna lie. Especially like, you know, when you wanna impress a lady, you gotta throw the fireplace on. Sometimes I just lay on this couch and I just catch a vibe. I just lay here and just reflect, think about the times where I didn't have. Think about the times I came from out of the neighborhood. You know, a lot of kids don't get a chance to make it around the world and see different things the way I have. So this is a, a great opportunity for me just to take everything in and just catch a vibe in the crib because I'll be, you know, on stage for hours and just sleep in the hotels all the time, which doesn't compare to, you know, being home, you know, just spending time in, in these rooms and, and getting inspired by my space. This is my kitchen right here. As you can see, I got my drawing book, got my flowers, I got my Lysol. We killing all the germs, making sure we stay clean. Wet ones. <laughs> As you can see, I got the Tiffany cups up there, glasses. You know, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen because I like to eat and I'm getting really good at cooking. I am actually training for a marathon, so I've been running and eating healthy, trying to stay away from the carbs as much as possible. This quarantine, it just basically makes me really reflect and, and think about the times, you know, I didn't really have to, to spend with my family and friends. And just, I think about what really matters and counts in life. All the money in the world couldn't amount to just being with your family and that feeling you get and energy you get from being with your, your family and loved ones. So like, I'm just looking forward to the day that we all come out of quarantine and everybody's celebrating and it's a nice day. and. You know, I get to invite all my friends over again. I'll probably throw like a huge party in this house. I want to say everybody be safe out there and thank y'all for visiting my crib. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to throw a party where everybody can come to the crib. Everybody in the whole world, come to the crib. It's lit. Once this quarantine is over, it's lit. I love y'all, peace.